Okay, I'm going to issue this uh, video in response to the Realtor Challenge that's going around via Facebook now. Uh, I hope you find it informative. If not, let me know. If so, definitely let me know. Well, uh, here in Memphis, what we're considered, what we're going through now is a seller's market. The market is trending to a seller's market. That means that there are not a lot of, of good houses on the market right now. There, there's not just an abundance full of decent houses, moving ready houses at a decent price. A few years ago there were plenty of houses on the market especially investment properties. We had investors all over from California to Australia, Canada, um, California just bound up houses by uh, bundles here in Memphis. And also one thing I want to point out that as Ashley said that rental rates are expected to rise and that is definitely true uh, especially here in Memphis we do have a large population of renters so that's why it's also important to um, plan your work and work your plan if you want to buy a house plan out your steps and follow them the first thing you need to do is pull your credit report and see what's on it you, sometimes you may think you may have good credit but there may can be some surprises on there that you don't even know about so it's always good to uh, pull your credit report annually. I think the website is annualcreditreport.com or something like that. You can Google it and it will pull up. The number one, know what is on your credit. Know what your buying power is. And then once you determine what your buying power is, know what you want to afford. You may be able to afford a $300,000 house but only want to spend $150,000. But those are the essential steps in becoming a homeowner. And then second, research the programs out there. Uh, your realtor, your loan officer can help you with that. There are plenty of first-time homebound programs, grants, uh, some by HUD, some by your local government, county government, city government. A lot of them do face out with income levels, so you, know, you have to be aware of that. And then determine what you want to buy. Come up with your checklist. Stick to it. Uh, sometimes uh, we experience home buyers that say they want a house in, in let's say, Harbortown, but then they end up buying a house in Carrieville. Uh, so sometimes, you know, a, a checklist will help alleviate the indecisiveness. Um, it'll help alleviate uh, some of the time spent driving around or even looking online at houses as well. So try to come up with your checklist and your list of wants and wishes and needs and then your realtor will try to hit all of those. Uh, sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not, but they're going to definitely try. Um,